Good afternoon, Wolfpack. I'm Quentin Lespino. And I'm Damon Ramos. Today is Wednesday, January 11th, and we are here with your daily announcements. Link Crew is now accepting applications for the 2023 to 2024 school year. They are looking for juniors, sophomores, and a select group of ninth graders who have been successful at COHS and serve as a positive, compassionate, endangered, and engaged, spirited, and passionate group of students. Please copy down the link on screen or scan the QR code if you're interested in applying. The COHS Counseling Department, along with CalSOAP, will be hosting a Cash for College workshop to assist seniors on completing their financial aid applications. <laughs> Last reminder, if you had a 3.75 GPA or above and you did not get an academic pin, please drop by the leadership room right outside the MP room to come pick it up. <coughs> the Senior Disneyland trip is still on this Friday. Make sure you are prepared to load your bus at precisely 11.45 p.m. Some things you're advised to bring are pillows, blankets, battery packs, backpacks, change of clothes, and more. Ponchos will be provided, and if you're on the no activities list, please try to fix that before Friday, or else you will not be boarding the bus. Let's pass it over to Ethan and Nisha for our weekly entertainment news. Hello, Wolfpack, and welcome to your weekly dose of entertainment. I'm Nisha Samra. And I'm Ethan Nguyen, and today let's dive into the media news. The new Puss in Boots movie has been receiving a lot of attention recently for it's been nominated for 23 awards. I've always wondered what will happen if Puss changed his boots. I don't really think he would though. Puss in Sandals doesn't really give the same ring to it. I think I still watch it. I think it sounds great. Anyways, Studio Ghibli's last film, How, will you, How Do You Live, will be released later this ju July. The founder of the studio, Hayao Miyazaki, is coming out of semi-retirement to complete this film. The story follows a young boy in a coming-of-age story. As a longtime Studio Ghibli fan, I'm very excited, though I will be sad, because it's his last film ever. Dang, I'm sure going to miss him. Anyways, for the Netflix OG series, um, series Wednesday has been announced for Season 2 with an exciting trailer following it. I'm excited to see what is in store. I think it's kind of interesting of how fast a character from a show can get so popular and have a Season 2 already announced that quickly. It's only been three months since the release of the first season, I'm kind of surprised of how fast this version, version of Wednesday has made into the heart, has gone into the hearts of people already. She's all, all over my For You page on TikTok with edits of her, people interpreting her dance, and cosplays of her. Yeah, my sister's obsessed with her. Anyways, okay. yeah. Well, we're all the time. I'm Nisha Samra. And I'm Ethan Nguyen. Back to the, the Anchors. anchors. Thank you, Ethan and Nisha. Freshmen, sophomores, and juniors, you're invited to attend the 2023 AP Information Night being held on Zoom on January 12th. The Zoom meeting will provide you with information about many of the AP courses being held in this year, and we highly recommend you attend. More knowledge can't hurt. EGUSD is hosting a spring hackathon on February 11th from 8 to 1 p.m. The languages that will, be, that will be in use are Python, C, C++, and Java. Maximum members on the team is three, and lunch will be provided. For, lunch will be provided, and the first twenty to sign will receive a free T-shirt. If you're interested in joining the CO track team, an informational meeting will be held today after school in HD nine. Now let's go see our lovely jock duo, Darren and Jonah. What's up, Wolf Pack? I'm the lovely jock, Darren Francis. And I'm Jonah Mercado. Starting Sorry. this week off with sad, sad news, an uh, up-and-coming MMA fighter Victoria Lee has died this December at 18 years old. The family has yet to release a statement on it, and the MMA world is heartbroken. Our condolences go to her family and friends. The world is a darker place. In better news, however, Damar Hamlin has made a recovery. He has thankfully been released from his hospital stay and is sure to make a full recovery at home. Moving into NFL news, we have some score updates. The 49ers had a wonderful season, going 10 games undefeated. They beat the Cardinals 13-38 to and are moving to a wild card round in the playoffs with the Seahawks. Great job, guys. The Jaguars beat the Titans 20-16. to Let's go. That means they'll move on into the playoffs. I for one, I'm excited. Sorry about the Raiders, Darren. It happens every year. I'm trying not to think about it. The Bills beat the Patriots 35-23, and they will also move to the playoffs. Good news for them. All right, NBA news. The Kings had a pretty solid season so far, first in the Pacific Division. Right. Now, great start, guys. 
The best teams right now are the Celtics and the Nuggets, being number one and number two in the league, respectively. I, for one, think we might be see looking at final contenders right now, Jonah. Mm -hmm. To school sports, we had our men's basketball team go against Franklin last Friday. Here's the highlights. For a opening. He can't seem to find an opening, so it's back to Gonzalvo, over to Washington, who tries to go in but gets blocked again. Over to Joyner, passing to number 21, Henry Hill, who makes this three-pointer here. I gotta say, the stands were packed for both schools, and the energy going in for this game was very high. Here we have Jay Washington telling him to go in, passing to him, and then going back, passing back to Hill. He tries to look for an opening, and eventually goes in and makes this layup. Great job. Our guys fought hard, but lost a close game, 68 to 70. Make sure to come for their game tonight against Pleasant Grove. I'm sure they'll win this one, Darren. Make sure to come out tonight to look uh, to, t to catch their Pleasant Grove game. Um, let's briefly take a look at our soccer, our men's soccer versus Davis. Our guys played well, but unfortunately lost this game. I'm Darren. I'm Jonah. And back to the anchors. Thanks, guys. Workshop for the spring musical will be held from the 9th to 11th. Audition for the show will be held on 23rd to the 27th. Swing by HE5 to check it out. Well, that's all we have for you this week. I'm Damon uh, Ramos. And I'm Quentin Lespino. I remember the strength of the pack is the wolf. And the strength of the wolf is the pack. Happy National Splash Your Friend with a Puddle today. Oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs>